Hey guys, this is JD from New York, and I'm bringing you tonight some more exclusive Black Ops 2 information in the form of Kill Confirmed. Now, Kill Confirmed was announced during Eurogamer 2012 to be in Black Ops 2, but that's all we found out about Kill Confirmed in Black Ops 2. They didn't reveal how you're going to be scoring in-game in Black Ops 2. They didn't reveal how much points it would be for a killed enemy. They didn't reveal how many points for an enemy dog tag. They didn't reveal how many points for an enemy uh, denying an enemy dog tag. But JD has found out as of October 5th, this weekend, Treyarch and Activision actually unveiled how you're going to be working towards those kill streaks in Black Ops 2. Now, Modern Warfare 3 was the first game that implemented Kill Confirmed. It's a take on Team Deathmatch. Um, team Deathmatch obviously is you know the first team to get 7,500 points wins the game. Okay, you just go around just slaying people left and right, and that's that's pretty much the the premise of the game. Kill Confirmed is a little different. It's slightly different. You kill somebody just like Team Deathmatch, but upon killing somebody, they drop a dog tag, which I'm sure you guys already know. To get the points to win the game, you have to collect the enemy dog tags. Okay, now. Black Ops 2 has implemented a new score streak system to work towards kill streaks. They're no longer called kill streaks. So the more points you gain in game, the more points you'll get towards getting that next kill streak. I was wondering how it was going to work with Black Ops 2. I was wondering if Black Ops 2 was even going to have kill confirmed because of the way David Von Dehar and his staff actually created this new score streak system. But here I am. I'm going to reveal it to you right now. Uh, you'll probably see the image on screen right now if you guys want to read along. For a killed enemy in Kill Confirmed, you'll get 50 points, okay? That's just like it is in Modern Warfare 3. You kill somebody, by any means, you'll get 50 points, all right? Now, normally, when you picked up that enemy dog tag in Modern Warfare 3, it was only worth 50 points. In Black Ops 2, you pick up an enemy dog tag, it's going to be worth 100 points. So it's going to be even more valuable for you to go get that dog tag in Black Ops 2 because it's going to be more points towards your score streak. Now, I don't recommend going out in the open and rushing around like a maniac getting dog tags because Kill Confirm does take a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of patience. It takes a little bit of stealth, okay? You got to make sure the area is clear before you actually go pick up a dog tag. I like to use the dog tags as a mini UAV sometimes. Use it as bait. If someone wants to come back and get their own dog tag, just, you know, sneak around, get a nice easy kill that way. Or if uh, one of your teammates kills somebody and they refuse to pick up the tag, you just leave it lying there. You know, maybe somebody come pick up their own dog tag. It's an easy way to gauge where the enemy is on the map. That's why I like playing Kill Confirmed. It's a little bit more strategy based. Teammate picking up a dog tag is worth 25 points. So if you kill somebody and your teammate happens to come across the tag and pick it up for you, it's worth 25 points towards your kill streak. Denying an enemy tag is worth 25 points. So all this is very important. The change is huge. Um, like I said, it all contributes towards the player's score streak, and it pushes players to play the objective. A lot of players in Modern Warfare 3 do not play the objective. One out of five lobbies, you'll see kill whoring and spawn trapping and a team full of six just going into a random lobby, just slaying people. Everybody's got 30 kills and four deaths, five deaths. You'll see a Pave Low, a Reaper, an AC-130, a Moab, you name it. It'll be in the map, or it'll be in that match. And that's a little ridiculous. And, I, you know, on a daily basis, I get thrown into those lobbies, and the first thing I do is back out because I'm, you know, I'm not going to be subjected to that. I like playing the objective. I like playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. But, uh, you know, Black Ops 2, if, if you guys aren't going to play the, the objective, you know, you're not going to be getting your score streaks or your kill streaks, you know, as, as much as the players playing the objective. So I highly recommend you guys when Black Ops 2 comes out, and if you're going to hop into Kill Confirm, Play the objective. It's going to be more beneficial to you. That's what Treyarch is going for. That's what David Von Dehar has been talking about this entire time. Play the objective. Okay? And that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Um, I'm glad to bring this information to you first. I don't think anybody else on YouTube has got this information or has revealed this information. Um, for the latest Black Ops 2 news, you can always turn to my channel. For the latest news on WWE news and rumors, you can always turn to my channel. Uh, I'm going to try and bring you guys, like I always say, the best quality content I possibly can. And uh, thank you guys for the support. I've been seeing a lot of views on my WWE videos, and uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, Monday Night Raw is going to be on tomorrow, so I'll have uh, a news and rumors and thoughts and analysis on that Tuesday. Uh, on Monday morning, I'm going to be giving you the news and rumors for the full week in WWE. It was a pretty slow week, but I have uh, a few tidbits for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the information. Um, leave a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel. 
and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.